Akano Himijima, maybe my favorite written character in High School DxD from a characterization standpoint and a development aspect. When it comes down to it, Akano is a great character for the opposite reasons than Narius. Unlike Akano's best friend Narius Grimry, she's a character that has a lot of mental weaknesses to her character and a lot of development that takes place throughout the story of High School DxD because of these weaknesses. Personally, when I watch High School DxD, I don't just see this highly attractive female character. I see a character that is overlooked for her romantic antics with our main lead Isahiyoto, rather than her courageous breakthrough as a person. Like I said in my Rias Grimry video, I've seen a lot of harem series with let's just say plain female characters that are just personalities on the screen rather than being some deeply written character with real life well issues. But when it comes to Akino Himijima, I see a character that had to battle against herself for being a fallen angel. I see a character that had to deal with being targeted because she was a fallen angel. I also see a character that preserved these things and stood on her own two feet when Loki defeated Issei. Anime original content or not, season 3 did display this and it still adds to her character regardless in a great way. Seeing Akino accept who she is as a person and her origins is something a lot of people have a hard time coping with in real life. If anything, you can say this moment is pretty inspiring because it showcases how far she's come as a person. It demonstrates that not only has she accepted who she is, she's accepted her past for what it is. Akino's hate for herself stemmed from her father, and I think most of us caught that. But her hate for her father did make sense. Her mother and father were all she had, and her father was supposed to be there always to protect them when danger arrived. And Akino looked at her father as her and her mother's knight in shining armor, but soon lost that shine for years to come after he wasn't there to save her mother's life. High School DxD managed to mix in real life messages, life self-acceptance, hatred, love, and even forgiveness onto Akino's character and even displayed these messages pretty damn well and better than most, and I have no problem saying that. Watching Akino's internal hatred boil was something that bothered the viewer. It was something that allowed the viewer to connect with her. Dealing with your past isn't always easy. Some cry it out, some fight it out, and some reach a breaking point to where they simply can't hate anymore. And some are lucky enough to have that one special person next to them to help guide it out. Insert Issei Hiyoto. Issei and Akino's relationship may actually be my favorite to watch on screen when I'm watching High School DxD, and it goes far beyond who is best girl in my opinion. <coughs> Zenobia. The way Akino is written as a character was a prize to be had for a character like Issei Hiyoto, because he's someone who wears his heart on his sleeve. He's someone who is vocal as to where clearly Akino isn't. So, when Akino was exposed for her fallen angel lineage in front of her whole occult research club in season 2 episode 5 by the rogue fallen angel tech in the school, I was actually genuinely excited to see them take this route with her character and shocked at the same time. But I didn't expect a harem series to leave the door open for character depth to be added. But after this moment occurred, we got to see Akno slowly deteriorate and have emotional moments we didn't know she is capable of having, and it was all because Issei accepted her for who she was in that same moment where she was being exposed by the rogue fallen angel that knew about her fallen angel lineage. After this encounter, we see Akno thank Issei for accepting her for who she is, but we also see Akno not accept herself. We even see her throw herself at Issei to try and cover up her emotional insecurities. Which is also another very real issue that people deal with today. Not just in High School DxD. Akino is a great character that teaches life lessons. She's a character that has more depth than most within her own genre. Akino is also a character that learned to love herself, and I'm sure some of you out there took something from that. So when it comes to Akino Himijima, I wouldn't just say she's a great character. As a matter of fact, I'd say... She's great at being a real one. Thank you for everything. Look at that. Tasty. Just like Shuri used to make.